right? Um, so anyway, so eventually I did, I had to make a choice. I'm like, I can't do this because I'm physically getting sick. So I was like, you know what? The $30,000 I just paid up for my degree, it's okay. <laughs> right? and so, Ouch. Like, even though I tell you guys, it still hurts. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. But, it's just, I know. <laughs> my name was OFAP, buddy. Okay? <laughs> um, so, but I, but... <laughs> But the good thing about me is I was able to say, no, this is not good for me. Like, I'm so grateful I was able to say, no, not continue and drag it on. After that, I'm like, I need a job. I got in Cantat and I loved it. Like, I kid you not, when I work with, this, with those youth to help them to socialize, I'm like, I felt like I, it, it, it felt good, right? And I, oh, that opportunity also helped me to get into TDSB through as a social worker. So I was okay, wow, work. look at you. You ended up I, there anyways. I was working with the councils. I was doing this. So, you know, I don't know. People are like, you spent $30,000 to figure out you want to be youth. But I'm like, I don't know if this is my role. This is my role, right? So I, I, so I worked uh, there for like three years. And my boss was like, you cannot be working here with us. For, you need to go get more experience and come back. Like, right? You, I don't want you to be stuck. So they were really good about it. So that motivated me to get my master's because I knew with social work, if you don't have your master's, you really can't do the higher end things. Right? Yeah, like clinical therapy. I agree. Right? Yeah. So I did that. I, so I did that and I went to work full time. I worked for a provincial uh, government for uh, like a youth worker and then got it. And then I was very fortunate to get the CMAT. So, uh, you know, so it's all these things. And so I wanted to be a teacher. Like social work was in my thing. But also... <laughs> I didn't know any better. Like my parents weren't, nobody told me about the word social work. Like it didn't exist in my vocabulary. As a, like, a, I always say as an immigrant Indian, we, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have the category of like either teacher, doctor, lawyer, like, <laughs> right? Like, let's see, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right? So when I got it, I was like, wow. Like I felt right, I felt good. And I'm like, I didn't care if I had to pay Another, but I knew what I was your happiness, though. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I got into it. It was by fluke, but I do. So I believe that everything just it, it it was it was my journey. So when people are like I don't know what they want to do, I'm like mm, I didn't find out when I, until like I was in mid thirty. So it's okay. And after three degrees. If you want to hear more stories, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like to support more youth by youth led projects. Visit us at youthspeak.ca where you can donate and spread youth mental health awareness. Youth Speak Performance Charity. Speak, inspire, change.